Hey you guys, and welcome back to my channel. You already know you're rocking with the messy YouTuber, baby. And child, from what I'm hearing, they say that Jocelyn is a juiced up, cracked out cocaine, Lord. And, and they saying it because, y'all, over the seasons, you know, we could see that Jocelyn has dabbled in a couple of things. But one thing that I always thought that she tried to push out there was that she was some type of healthy eating vegan um, and juice drinking mofo. And I'm just like, girl, you're going to stop playing with me with the henny and the ar, 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 and you turn around talking about some you want a cucumber juice in the morning. Girl, stop playing with me. You're hiding something. And I think sometimes when people try to portray that they have a healthy lifestyle, a lot of times they have the worst lifestyle. Like um, Chris Jenner, for instance, she always wants y'all to think she's eating salads and stuff like that. But really, she smokes cigarettes, drink a lot of liquor, and eat fucking McDonald's cheeseburgers, gets out the car and take a piss. All right? But you wouldn't think about, you wouldn't think that about Chris Jenner, would you? But that's her, and they've been told y'all that through petty moments over the show. But anyway, back to how you digress, child. Back to what I was talking about. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it to the black girl on the show. Amber represents us and ever been fighting for us this whole time. And I just believe that Jocelyn always had on her mind against Amber because of that nigga shit. And she going she gonna to say, um, well... She asked the white girl, did you call somebody a nigga? And uh, Amber was like, no, this bitch called me a nigga talking about the Mexican girl or whatever. Look at me calling her a Mexican girl. I think she black. Girl, you is not black. Girl, you is Mexicano chick. So anyway, Amber was like, she don't look like me. She can't say the N-word. But Jocelyn being like a dark-skinned Latina, she like, well, Latinas can say the N-word. I can say, no, bitch, you dark-skinned. That's why we let you slide with that N-word. Because no matter where you go, you dark-skinned, bitch, you gonna be a nigga. I you already know. See, Season one, you talked about that shit and you was down for the black girls. Now it's like season two, you ready to beat the black girl ass, but this black girl different because she coming with them black girl hands. I didn't like the way you put your hand in her chest that time. I would have never came back to the show if you put your hand in my chest because I felt like bitch is trying to fight Jocelyn. And if Jocelyn don't want me to fight her, I'm going to have to get the fuck off her show. So I don't know why Amber showed up at the uh, reunion. So anyway, from what Amber said out her mouth, the girl said that Jocelyn kicked her. I don't know if there was already in the mix, but boom, 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 pow. Jocelyn kicked her. Blah. She fell on the ground. She said she got up. She cracked Jocelyn in the fucking head. Bow. Some people saying that it was a, um, what they call it, girl? A cheap blow when you when you're sneaking behind the head or some shit like that. I don't know, child. But anyway, after Jocelyn got cracked and she fell out, boom, ballistic came over. And just started dragging Amber like a rag doll, child, I heard. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Beat the... They say he grabbed the hell. That's horrible. Because if you can see... And I hope the attorneys are listening to this. Because if you could see the escalation from season one, season two, in ballistic. Season one, ballistic barely was... He was all jostling, jostling, jostling. And he didn't even much want jostling boobs out damn near. I don't know. Was that one or two? But season two... You know, he went off on the girls at the reunion. Season three, he pulling bitches by the head. So, uh, I don't know. These girls used the pimps and shit. Not all of them, but maybe that's why he treating the girls like that off the pimp energy. And one more thing that I find funny. I find so funny that if this is the end to the cabaret, it'd be so funny that that girl, Gaia, came on there talking about Jesus Christ. I say, Lord Jesus, and shut the show down. <laughs> <laughs> Jocelyn, you better be careful, girl. I don't know what's going on, girl. Get off that coke because it's messing up your money. Holla.